It's probably going to slow down here again. We're not dead yet. We're not dead yet. We're not dead yet. Oh, three torpedoes. Come on. This is the ship you want to play. Why? This is the ship that will learn you how to angle, how not to angle, using islands, have an insane amount of damage if you do well, but if you make mistakes, you will know instantly. You get blapped and die instantly when you get hit. But it will learn you how to position, it will learn you how to use islands, and it will learn you how to be a very, very good Ruta player. And if you can play this ship and stay alive and do decent damage, you can play any ship in this game and be good at it. This is the, the best ship in the game to learn. It is hard to get at first. She's, she's, a, she's a tough mistress, but she will teach you how to do it well. Oma is awesome. And it's one of the best tier 5 crews if played correctly. Yes, it is. It is. It's one of my favorite tier 5s, actually. Because Oma is basically a full citadel. And everybody and their mother can, can citadel her. And she doesn't over, over pen because she is too thick. Just thick enough to arm everything. So you get murdered a lot. But when you learn it, when you get to get to grips with her, she sets fires like no one's business. She has enough range. And she has guns everywhere. It's awesome. It's a really fun ship to play. But it will take you a little bit of uh, frustration to get through the first few matches. Because you have to learn... Oh, I have to use an island here. Oh, there is a battleship shooting at me. Yeah, You have to learn that whole spatial awareness and use the minimap. Oh, must try by fire, but when you succeed, you will have the knowledge for future tiers. Exactly, Miss O. Miss O, perfect. That's exactly the, the thing. Oma is the way to learn to play this game well. And it's for every ship type that you can play. It's destroyers or battleships or carriers even. They can all use tactics used by this ship. And if you can play this ship well, you can play any ship well. Any ship. No exception. But yes, even carriers. Because carriers should not be at the blue line. If you're a carrier player and you're on the blue line, you're doing it wrong. Yes. <laughs> That makes complete sense. I have all always been confused by why people recommend US line. They recommend it because it goes towards the Des Moines and the Wooster, which are really, really good cruisers. The entire lines are good, by the way. You have the the Cleveland at tier 8, used to be tier 5, with the exact same stats, no increase of anything, and it's still amazingly good at tier 8. Um, and of course, the Wooster is insanely good. Um, Des Moines is one of the favorites for everyone in the game. It's just really, really good at what it does. A stealthy radar, high DPM, really rewarding when you play it well, and it is not too hard to play. I mean, of course, there's always a risk, but not too hard to play. But this is the one that will teach you everything you need to know. This is the one, although it's very much Christmas here. <laughs> Thanks, only Kim, I got on it. But it's basically a tier 4 cruiser, which means made out of citadels, pretty big. The citadel is, I believe, from here to here. You can't really see it in the plating. Sometimes you see the plating actually ends where the citadel ends. But this one is actually from here to here, I believe. And it's above the water. I'm being spoiled right now. I'm already overextended. I need to turn out and hopefully don't get blapped here. This is where I could already die. But we're safe. We're not being shot at yet. Couldn't, couldn't. And we might be able to get a little bit over the island here. Uh, Voisky, no. We got a few bots here. I mean, all the DDs are bots, it seems. Yeah, all the DDs are bots. So they just go and charge and full nose in. They're not players. And there they go. That, that's what happens with bots. They just rush in and die. That's what they do. Now, Potvoisky is also rushing, and he's rushing in over here. We need to get rid of it. I'm being spotted by two enemies. They're aiming for me. I mean, I spoke by all of them, but there's two aiming for me. Ah, hello there. That's another bot there. Uh, Potvoisky shooting me. Fair enough. So is Kodoba. We sit about this guy with HE? Okay. <laughs> okay. That doesn't happen often. That doesn't happen often. So we got a kind of a push here. I only got two bots here, and one of them is dying. That's a Phoenix, that's a higher tier version of the Oma. Trying to keep this island close to me. Oh, there's an angle. And yes, I'm using AP and Oma. It's not great, but it can do things. 
like Citadel for 3k, which on 20k is pretty good. And let's see, we're good, we're good. I'm using this island here to make sure that not the entire team can farm me down, because uh, one good volley and I'm gone. It's also, it's also one of the funnest ships to play because you can die at any moment. So it's, it's nice and tense. I like that. I like it's a little bit tense. Can I get a turret? Okay, there we go. Okay, now we should not get deleted by Phoenix. That could definitely happen. Also, we got torpedoes here. It's very fun to use those. There, we're not spotted. Or sack. I want to shoot this guy in that way. There's Cordoba, look at that. Oh yeah. Free kill, I'll take that. Don't mind me. Oh, it's already gone. It's already gone. We're still unspotted because we used the islands here. Yeah, the positioning is just something you really learn in Omaha. It's really fun to do. And if you don't, well, you will know when you have uh, messed up because you die in one shot by most ships. Okay, now we can spot by Murmans. Go over there. So keep an eye on when you're getting spotted. Then look on the minimap what could spot you there and then uh, make sure it doesn't. <laughs> make sure it doesn't. Uh, let's go Phoenix here because he's the one actually blocking us. Although I think. Yeah, I think he's dead anyway. I have to be sure. He is. He's dead by secondaries, right? Yeah, he is good. And Iron Duke is still alive. Good, 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 good. There we go. And he's nice and on fire. I like that. Burn him a little bit more. Burn him a little bit more. Start BBs with US or Japanese? Uh, they're both really good. They're both really good. I can recommend both. I would say that I have the most fun, that's just personal, in the Americans. Because they have better anti-air. So they're less frustrated against the... Uh, uh, less frustrating to play against carriers. Uh, the Japanese are slightly more accurate at long range. But they can't really tank or play the, the close range uh, brawly mechanics. Which the Americans are actually really really good at. So I recommend going for the Americans. Because they just have more play styles you can use them as. So you can try more things out. But the Japanese... They can. They have to go for it at some point. But they're really not suited for it. They're not badly armored, they're just not as good armors. So I would say the Americans are a little bit more fun to me. Although you have to get past the Colorado, which is... Um, yeah, some people are just uh, not really liking Colorado. That's a real guy over there. Oh, if you don't know, by the way, if you see a name there with two points on the front and back, that's a bot. That's a, just a bot that's made by the game to uh, fill in uh, the player numbers, which we don't have. I don't want to sell out of here because I don't want to give him any, any angles at me. I hope he can't lob this, though. He might already be able to lob this island, I'm not sure. Okay, this angle is not good for me. Uh, can I reverse in time? I need to keep an eye on that guy. So we launch the plane. And he's going straight at me. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He wants to get me, but I can't. Island is just too high for him. He did get rid of my fighter, though. Oh, there's your Hydra. Hello, Hydra. Punch it now. Don't think he gets the turn out. I think we got him. So I launched a wide spread there to make it very hard for him to dodge that because he's close range. Now, I did lose my torpedoes for that. Hydra up. Oh, Kerning. I'm trying to get Hydra Kerning here. So I just used my torpedoes both on this side. We have 30, 38 seconds. That's not too much. How much damage do they do? 11k per... Don't know how many we have, but... Okay... You get to see every single piece of the ship, it seems. Oh, turn this off. I turn this off to make sure that the, uh, it doesn't show too easily where I am. Now, I want to ambush this guy. Hydro is good. How far does it reach? It's a 4 kilometer, so he's in. Good. We'll let him come closer a bit. Just come to me, my friend. Time for some ambush. Now, he's aware that I'm here, of course. Okay, let's get close to this island. 
if one of them hits, it's good. I want to keep this one safe just if it gets a little bit closer. You get to see every single tactic here. <laughs> Rare that we have every single tactic here, but we're going to use it. So he sees those torpedoes. He might or might not get hit by them. It doesn't seem he is. So those are three of them. 11k each. He has 25k HP. Okay, move out. It's probably going to slow down here again. We're not dead yet! We're not dead yet! We're not dead yet! Oh, three torpedoes. Come on. Three torpedoes. And his face. Ooh, only two. Only hit two. Only hit two. Can I? I mean, I'm dead here. When he shoots me. But... Oh, wait, wait, maybe island? Island? Are we fast enough? Ooh, island! Island! Oh, I love this island. I love this island. It is the best. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> uh, yes, I do have a YouTube. You saw the see it flash up in the corner, top left? That's my YouTube. I also exclamation mark socials should show it. Or I think it's socials. I lost my pen. My pen fell off the table here. <laughs> you got to, you got to see every little part of the Oma here. Which uh, you don't really get to see that often. So 90k damage in Omaha. Six fires, two kills, four torpedo hits. <laughs> and my beloved islands. Oh, look at that. Oh. <laughs> islands are your friends? They are. They definitely are. I really thought I was dead there. I really thought I was dead there. Oh. This is also why I like Omaha so much. It's sometimes so tense, so down to the wire if you play a good. Oh, man. <laughs> But she is a hard mistress. She will die in one shot a lot of times. Yes. Damn. <laughs> God damn. Oh yeah.